Hi, my name is Harpreet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate a SWOT box. To demonstrate how to rotate a SWOT box, I'll be using this specific example where I have shelves on the all four sides of the assembly. So we have shelves that are facing this way, this way, as well as that way. We also have the vertical shelves as well, or vertical partitions, and we are going to use SWOT box to create the whole assembly. So for this specific one, I have created two SWOT boxes that we will be using. So I'm going to go under my SWOT box, and I have a training folder here. And I have a SWOT box horizontal that essentially shows a set of horizontal shelves that creates the groove into the panels that it's attaching to. Similarly, I have a set of vertical grooved as well. So we're going to use these to create our assembly like this one. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna close this first of all. And I have already created a frame. First, I'm going to add the base. So like adding any other suit box, it's very simple. All you need to do is just select the suit box and you can just drag and drop. So it has identified this volume. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the size of this suit box. I'm gonna right click here, edit, and we're going to say that the top plane of this one goes up till here and it's able to resize the rest of the assembly now we're going to add the rest of the panels you can do so by going under suit design create a new panel and we're going to add the top panel first and then we're going to add the bottom panel so this one is not fixed in place so to fix in place i'm going to select this face move it a little bit and as soon as it comes in touch with that one i'm going to let go and the mate is applied I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut C to apply the mates in all, on all the faces. And now it's fixed in space as well. Now I'm going to click OK and let's start adding the shelves as well as partitions. So first I'm going to add the vertical shelves. So I'm going to right click here, say insert sword box and we're going to choose the internal volume. So I'm going to hover here till it starts selecting the internal volume. And then the sword box gets added here and it adds the shelves along this line. Notice it also performed the machining operation on this as well. Next, we're going to add another one, and we're going to add it here. I'm going to click OK. Now notice this time it added it, it's parallel to the previous panel that was added. So I want this to be perpendicular. To do that, I'm going to right click on my sword box feature here. I'm going to edit it, and then I'm going to go into rotation. And then I can choose to choose any of these buttons to rotate it. So I have this right face rotation. So if I click on this button, then this wood box will be rotated to the right. So right now you can see that it's protruding a little bit outside. So this was not exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to go back where it originally was. And I'm going to rotate it to the left side instead. Now if you see it's not protruding anymore and it's uh, flushed with this face. So that's exactly what I was looking for. I'm going to click OK. and the sword box get added. Similarly, I'm going to add the sword box on the other side as well. I'm going to right click here, insert sword box, choose the volume, click OK. And initially it's going to add the sword box as it previously did, and then we're going to edit it, and we're going to rotate it. Now previously we rotated to the left and it was added here. This time we're gonna have rotated to the right. So I'm gonna press this button, and you can see that it's flushed with this face. I'm gonna click OK and the shelves get added. Now similarly, we can add the horizontal shelves as well. We can do so by right clicking here, insert sword box, and we can choose any of them. Click OK, and the shelves get added. Now in this case, we can see that this one is protruding out, so we don't want uh, this face to be like that. And for here, it's flush, so this is good. And let's see how it's the other one looking like. Okay, so it looks like everything is fine. All we need to do is just go in here, and we are going to set the depth of one of these to zero. So for the left face here, we actually don't want it to have any protrusion. So I'm going to set it to zero and it goes in. I'm gonna click okay and it's done. So just like that, you're able to add the sword boxes and you're able to rotate them fairly quickly and orient it as you like. I hope you found this video useful for more information and more videos like such as this one 
please go to our website at cadmicro.com or follow us on LinkedIn or Twitter.